It's estimated that inefficient use of energy and raw materials costs the Australian economy billions of dollars every year. That's why materials efficiency and energy efficiency is so important. It saves businesses money and it reduces waste. But being efficient is not the only way to improve the bottom line. In this segment, we're going to look at two companies that have used materials efficiency as a platform for innovation. In Melbourne, we checked out the 3D printing technology that's transformed the business model of Giorgio Dental Laboratories. Whilst in New South Wales, we took a look at the materials reduction strategy that's created added value for Mars food. We start this report with Giorgio Dental Laboratories in Coburg. Sam Thalassinos, thanks for coming on Smart Money. Thank you. Can you tell us a bit more about Giorgio Dental Labs? What do you do as a company? So Giorgio Dental is a manufacturer of dental prosthetics. So that means porcelain crowns, bridges, implants. And what's your customer back? Uh, dentists and dental professionals all over Australasia. Actually, in fact, the whole world these days. Now, we're going to talk today about material efficiency in your operations. You're a really good example of a very efficient, very productive Australian company. Mm -hmm. Take us back to the time before you got your 3D printer in. Mm -hmm. How different was it when you were making something like a, a porcelain tooth, for example? I see mm -hmm. you've got plaster here, you've got yeah. courier bags. Take yeah. us through that. How different was it? So it's uh, been a dramatic change. Uh, so initially to make a, a plaster model uh, would take many, many hours uh, compared to 3D printing these days. Uh, we would have to get in six tonnes or so of plaster uh, material, which we're saving on these days. It, you'd actually have to get it in. Uh, I guess you process it process too. It'd be quite it. messy, I would imagine. Absolutely, and then yeah. dispose of it and pay to dispose of it. It's not really great for the environment and certainly isn't good for the bottom line. And you've got courier bags here. What, was, what, what happened there? So every job that comes in and is dispatched out would have to be sent by courier, which is obviously very costly. You have some very state-of-the-art 3D printing machines. How has that changed the way you are able to operate as a company? So I'll give you a great example. If you were a patient in London, you could go and see a dentist have an intraoral scan. That scan could be sent to us immediately in Melbourne and in real time we could be working on your porcelain crown whilst you're getting out of the chair in London. Tell us, how has it changed your company? I mean, if you look at before you got your 3D printer, how many staff did you have mm -hmm. compared to say now? Have you, have you, has it enabled you to grow as a company? Well, we've almost doubled. So from around 25 staff to 45, which has been fantastic, whilst still upskilling staff who were doing the more menial tasks in model production to more senior tasks now. And I remember having nightmares, having one of these <laughs> put in my mouth. And so I guess that's what that's the way the dentists used to do it. So how, what's the benefit for a dentist of not using that? What's the difference? So the difference is patient comfort. Uh, putting this in someone's mouth is incredibly uncomfortable for most people. Um, and uh, it's made it uh, a lot more uh, non-invasive for patients, uh, which obviously has uh, great benefits uh, for dentists and the way they treat their patients. We were back at your lab earlier on, mm -hmm. and I noticed how everyone was very industrious, they looked very efficient and very productive. Have you found that having the 3D printing, using this technology, mm -hmm. has it made you more efficient and more productive? Absolutely. It has improved our productivity out of sight. We've been able to reskill and upskill our uh, technicians to more innovative methods. What's exciting about what you're doing is that you're buying in a lot less material, mm -hmm. you're paying less to throw material away because mm -hmm. you've reduced the amount of waste that you're generating and you've become more efficient and more productive. You must have learnt a lot mm -hmm. in that process. What can you pass on? What's your key learning you'd like to pass on to people watching now? Well, by making the necessary targeted investment in technology, uh, you're able to uh, have more of an innovative mindset and make yourself more competitive on a worldwide market as well as your uh, local market while still keeping jobs in Australia and that's what it's all about for us. What's interesting about the waste reduction too is not just you that's reducing waste. If your dental clients Correct. aren't using this kind of material, mm -hmm. they're also having less waste at their end too. That's right. Their materials efficiency has improved as a result of not actually having to use any of this stuff as well as making it comfortable for their patients. Changing the manufacturing process has also worked for Mars Food in New South Wales. I met up with Jason Filand from Mars Food to find out how a change in packaging design has helped to reduce the amount of raw materials being used. At Mars Food, how have you used materials efficiency as a platform for innovation? At Mars Food, we have worked with our customers and our suppliers to not only grow their business but to grow ours and to do that in a sustainable way. 
we've focused on many aspects of sustainability, reducing energy, reducing water, but also making sure we have packaging efficiency. In the Mars packaging guidelines, we say that we must use the lightest material possible and still be functional. How can something as simple as changing the design of the label bring about savings? We changed the design of our label on our Master Food squeezy tomato sauce bottle and saved approximately 10 tonne of landfill per year. But that's not the only thing that we've achieved. Over the last three years with our glass jars, we have saved over 2,000 tonnes of glass or the equivalent of 8 million Master Foods or Dolmio 500 gram jars. It's been a great result for us. Is it safe to say that you're using all materials efficiently or is there still room for improvement? There's always room for improvement, but I think we're doing a great job and we're working hard, not only on packaging, but within our Central Coast facility, we've done a great job with things like our wastewater treatment plant, where we treat 250,000 litres of water per day and we reuse that in our cooling towers and for washing down our processes. We do use mains water for our products. And in terms of what are we doing regarding uh, energy usage, we have a cogeneration facility on site that has saved 3,600 tonnes of carbon emissions. But probably my proudest achievement with the great work of the team has been zero waste to landfill in 2014. And we do that still today. When it comes to materials efficiency, what have you learned that you can pass on to people watching now? Within our factory, we are relentless at driving and measuring efficiency. We need to do that with sustainability and make sure that we do leave a better world for our children. As you just saw, Mars Food and Giorgio Dental Laboratories have both used materials efficiency as a platform for innovation. In looking at how they implemented their changes, I found three key things that other businesses can learn from. First up, Giorgio Dental Laboratories utilise the latest technology to improve their operational efficiencies. Plus, they also created local manufacturing jobs at the same time. Secondly, through the use of design, Mars Food was able to eliminate waste in their manufacturing process. That helped to reduce their waste to landfill costs and it also lightened the weight of their packaging. Finally, by using the latest technology and bringing manufacturing in-house, customers at the dental clinic experienced improved outcomes, which of course was also a good outcome for the business. Smart Money's case studies have been developed with assistance from the New South Wales Office of Environment and Heritage and Sustainability Victoria.